everybody. Now, dance is a great way for young people to learn so many life skills. I know because I am a dance mom. Here to talk about how ballet training helps build focus and character, Romy Beppu and Jennifer Lowe with Honolulu Classical Ballet. Welcome to the show and happy fifth anniversary. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining us. Um, Romy, why don't we start with you. Tell us about your, your studio and what makes your ballet school different from others. Um, we have a um, actually a special uh, studio. Uh, we specialize in classical ballet. Uh, that's my background. So some dance studios you'll see a little bit of hip-hop, jazz, tap, um, but we are purely classical ballet. Um, and we, we have guest artists who come in from the mainland. Um, we offer that um, to our students, uh, our local students, and um, we just have a great uh, atmosphere and uh, family setting and wonderful kids. So we're really excited to be celebrating our fifth year. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, tell us about how, how, what ages do you accept for students? Uh, we start at three years old and um, our program kids go up until about 17, 18, until high school. Uh, and then we also offer adult open classes. Now you are celebrating your uh, five years uh, for the school. Um, what would you say are you most proud of over the last five years? I, that's probably a difficult question because oh I know that you work with so many uh, great kids. I think uh, foremost would probably be uh, just to see the development of the kids that I've had uh, from day one or um, you know the first two years of the studio being open and then to see where they are now their progress um, the other thing would be uh, just the relationships we've built uh, with our families and then also in the community um, with um, different um, you know uh, families and businesses as well um, who have supported us and um, You've done the same with them. It's it's pretty um, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> now you did bring a couple of uh, or three dancers yes. with you this morning. Can you introduce them? They are adorable. Sure. This is uh, this is little Michaela, um, Bryn, and this is Izzy, and this is Michaela. Can you guys say hi? Hello. Right here. Hello. You can face okay. the camera right there, but do you think that little tutu comes in an adult size? Because I have to have one. <laughs> They are Perhaps. so adorable. <laughs> I know we don't have any music in studio, but do you think they could do a little turn for us? Maybe. Girls, girls, hi, hi. Can we practice what we did? We do our little turn. Yes. And then one on the hips. <laughs> one on the hips. Easy. <laughs> one more. <laughs> And there you go. <laughs> I love it. Those smiles are contagious. How old are they? Um, they're between three and five. Three and five. Yeah, okay, they're so they're in your youngest Yes, group? they're in our prima class. I'm so The four and a half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you remember when you were a kid and how, you know, you wanted to say you were that half, right? It's all about, you know, five it's and a half. It's a big deal. It's or... a big deal, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, Jen, we talked a little bit about the history and how you guys started. Mm -hmm. Where are you headed? What do, what do you have uh, coming up in the future? We have some really excited things that we're going to do in the future. So the first thing is that we have a performance to celebrate our fifth year anniversary. It's going to be on June 11th at the Mamiya Theater. And we have two, sh two, two show times, 1 p.m. and 5 p.m. And we get to feature our littlest dancers from age three to our pre-professional students age is 15 to 17. Terrific. You know, people love watching kids on stage. Um, is this open to the public? Yes, the t we sell tickets online, and we'll announce it on our website. It's www.hcballet.com, and people can buy tickets and come watch our show. And the other exciting thing that we have coming up is our six-week summer intensive, and this is a time for our intermediate to advanced students of ballet to really focus on ballet and come to the studio daily. And one thing that we do that's very unique is that we bring in guest artists, guest teachers that are professional dancers at some of the best ballet companies nationally and internationally. And we actually fly them in and they come and teach our students for six weeks. What a great yeah. opportunity, right, for these dancers uh, to see these professional dancers uh, come in from the mainland. Um, and I also hear that you guys are moving. You have a new location? We do. <laughs> We're moving to Kaimaki. And, uh, you know, we've outgrown our new studio, and we're extremely excited to be in that area because we think it's very central and very um, vibrant neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Romy, I know because my daughter is really into dance, um, but, you know, s 
a lot of times it's not just about dance you know maybe a handful of these dancers will become professional dancers Absolutely. you know like you are um, but dance teaches so much more you know it teaches focus <coughs> tell us about that if someone wanted to be um, a dancer what, what kind of life skills could they learn from dancing oh it's just a so many life skills um you know just a few that pop into my mind um the discipline um to come into uh, class every day and um to work on a skill because it it doesn't come uh, quickly even if you have talent so it's having that patience within yourself being self-aware um, being able to work on um, your own corrections and then also as a team when you dance generally speaking unless you're doing a solo you're dancing with uh, a group so it's about teamwork and um, you know camaraderie <laughs> and patience with yourself and the discipline focus diligence yes. I mean it goes on and on but so many um, vital life lessons for children and then later on uh, there there are future generation of d adults Yes. So um, I, I'm a firm believer in that. Yeah, I am too. Uh, my 12-year-old, she's learning time management <laughs> too, because yes. she's got to balance schoolwork. You know, if she wants to mm -hmm. dance, she's got to keep her grades up. And so, um, yeah, so many life lessons. But thank you both for being with us <laughs> today. You. And again, happy anniversary. Thank Terrific. you very much. Coming up on Living 801.